and today I'm going to do a full face of makeup I hate because lots of you guys have like requested it like on my vlogs like please make film a main channel video and I'm sorry about that I've been vlogging like every day and 30 odd degrees in the UK let's go on the video starting off with primer I have my poor professional matte rescue one this does not sit well on my skin and literally just like separates and moves everywhere it's really weird and plus it's like really slimy and like yeah have you seen that it's actually horrendous my nose on my skin this makes my skin so like slimy and like sticky they're like really like oily like it makes it doesn't make my face feel nice at all top foundation i'm using my nyx stay matte but not flat foundation this separates my skin i've used almost every primer with this and it still separates my skin it, it, this makes my face more oily again it's not matte it does not make your face matte what why do these products say that they will make your face matte when really it's the opposite i don't get it buffing brush is amazing for foundation um so i'm just going to go a little bit on here and like in case you're wondering this is in the shade ivory ivory it just goes all streaky can you see that look at all those lines on my face that's why i don't like this foundation so this makes me look like i've i've died for like a year and then like i've came back alive again this is so bad can you see look that is minging no 100 percent no anyway now i'm using my revolution like a concealer stick thing do you think i can use a stick concealer for under my eyes i'll this is so cakey it just it it's so difficult to blend i actually will show you i honestly hate this product so much it's like the product which i hate the most out of all of them i'm just gonna it's gonna go like look it doesn't even have much coverage right i'm just gonna do triangles And also, I need to cover like spots as well. I'm gonna use it as like a covering concealer. Like literally not blending like under like on my crease. Like it's it's really, like filled in my crease and now like shows my like under eyes off. Oh my god, no! I'm turning it like into more of a ghost. Like what the hell? Ew! There's all the dog barking. It's literally separated around my spot on there. Oh my god, uh, no, this, this is a no go. Okay. All powders, I'm using my two, even though Too Faced is amazing, I have to be honest. This powder here is not good, I have to be honest. Um, So I will use my little powder brush, I'm going to just rub it in here. Patches of yellow all over my face. Like, can you not, honey? Like, I don't have time for this. I've now turned into a Simpson, which is great because yay, I love it. Off a contour, I actually hate cream products. Like, I don't know how they can apply onto your skin. I don't know because they literally take off all your makeup after you blend it in. So, I'm using my Evolution contour stick. As you can tell, I have a little bit left, but I'm, I'm going to do like everywhere on my head. On my cheekbone. On my head. Look, already. I look actually ridiculous. I can do a little bit of my nose on, on my jawline because you know we have all all of us have chins, and I've got plenty of them. <laughs> As you can tell, sculpting brush because this is amazing for contouring, and like just for cream contour especially. It's gonna blend out circular motions. Makes you look a bit too, like, bronzed. Like it's a bit, it's, it's like it's intense basically. If you blend it out like on your forehead, it makes you have like a really weird orange kind of head. For blusher, I've got a Ted Baker, even though Ted Baker is meant to be really good. Their makeup is not good, I've got to be honest. So I'm using their cream blusher. It's a lip and cheek tint. Um, So I'm just going to use it like, like as a blusher obviously. How the hell can you use this as a blusher? Like, if you blend it in, it's just gonna like go everywhere, right? So, I'm just gonna go like this. This is where you apply blusher. This looks like a line of pink, right? Okay, I look like 
I could be in one of those tribes. That is crazy. Blush brush. It's just a cute limited edition one. Oh my god. This is just like a blob of pink. No, I'm not. I'm never. I actually will have to throw it out. I don't know how the hell you could ever wear like cream makeup because it does not apply well on your skin. This is ridiculous. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know why I, I've got all these cream products, but they're really not good. And again, we've got another cream product. We have um, a Revolution one. This is a highlight stick. Even though this looks absolutely so gorgeous and really pretty, it's really not on your skin. I'll actually show you all. So, obviously, highlight can be applied basically like anywhere, basically, but more on cheekbones. Does it even show up? Oh, yeah, I suppose it does a little bit. I was going to go up here as well. going to go up on this one as well. On your nose. Because that's having nose highlight is like the best thing ever. Put it like on here. Ooh, this actually isn't, it isn't too bad on your nose. It's actually fair pretty. I'm going to put it on your lips as well. Like on your cupid's bow. Mmm, okay. Blend it in, I'm using my little um, <clears throat> highlight brush. This is not horrendous it isn't like i suppose it is. actually i don't m mind this actually like this this is actually so pretty look at that you blend it on your nose but like there is another story in your nose or it just leaves like a line of wave oh no however on, on here it's actually really nice but on your nose it's not good. A bronzer I'm using another Ted Baker product I know so bad and I'm basically using their bronzer because their bronzer is so orange and it's so shimmery as well so the so the brush I'm going to use is the brush brush because this is really good for contouring. It's gonna honestly this is just so orange like and if you are a pale person and you have this you'll understand it's just mm, very orange toned. Just look, look at that orangeness. It's really, it doesn't blend that well either. I literally look like an umpa lumpa now. For as you know, I'm using my slightly toasted eyeshadow palette, so they weren't as good as I thought they would be. So I think I'll go for like, for like a kind of like brown, kind of like nude, kind of like smoked kind of eye look. Basically, I'm using basically all the shades in here. So yeah, so obviously like I'll use my own brushes, um, because like it. Only comes with a brush like that, and I mean, he uses these these days. I don't think anyone does. It's kind of like a nice, kind of like brown colour here. Hopefully, it, he'll be alright. I'm hoping. However, it's really chalky, so like it'll just go everywhere. I'm going to put it on my crease. Actually, this shade is not too bad. It's not the best, it isn't the worst, it's just kind of like average. But they're really chalky and they're going everywhere, like on my cheek. A darker kind of shade in the corner of my eye. If it'll even show up, because they're, they're not really that pigmented. I think you have a, like a patch of like eyeshadow there. Oh my god, this is just terrible. After I have applied my awful eyeshadow, I'm using my Benefit Creaseless Colour Wash on my eyebrows because it's a top shade and I'm kind of like a top kind of shade. Or, well, it was. Anyway, so basically, you put it on the back of your hand. Well, that's what I do anyway. Squirt. This is so watery. How the hell am I going to use this on my eyebrows? Eyebrows. How even shows up? Like, is it even an eyebrow product? It makes your eyebrows look really, really thick and it's really hard to apply. After I've applied my awful eyebrows, I will use my L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. Can I just show you the wand for a minute? What the hell is that on the end of the wand? Can you see that bit there? What the hell is that? It's like got like hair in it. I hope it isn't mouldy. Ugh, this is mouldy. Uh, it's, it's much if this is moldy. This mascara isn't too bad. NYX liquid suede lipsticks. Um, so I love NYX lipsticks. Like I love all their products. Like I'm obsessed. 
but metallic matte ones and not that good um, because basically I apply it it's really hard to apply and, and second thing after like a few hours like it dries up and crumbles off your lips which is actually disgusting so I'm just gonna this is like a purple it's like a purple shimmery shade also like it smells really strange as well I mean come on I will look like an actual clown you literally smudge look it goes on with your teeth and then it, it goes, it just smudges already. I've only had it on like two seconds. I like stick and mascara as well. How for everything else, as you can tell, this went totally wrong. I look like a umpa I look like I've got slug eyebrows and I look like I've been punched in the eye like 500 times. But anyway, this is how I look. I look so gorgeous, obviously. I'm I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.